Hello everyone and welcome to my very secret number 36, which I would like to call on miracles. Today is a very private session because I'm quite tired and um, and I have experienced very, very cute things today that I wanted to share with you. So there's no technique tutorial today, but uh, something that um, becomes very clear to me the older I get. And um, I'm reading this book at the moment uh, from Pam Grout. I really like her a lot. And uh, she's been through really, really difficult times um, and um, still manages to stay cheerful and positive. And um, her latest book is only available as an ebook. And um, so I'm at the chapter called Miracles. And what happened today was that I stumbled over two recordings that I never heard before. One Swedish pop jazz album and one Karanjan uh, recording remastered that I would like to share with you. And then I met a friend from Teenage Times, uh, Flo Crispa, after six years, seven years, at the counter in the store. And we both had masks and, you know, talking. He was talking on the phone. So it was a miracle that I actually recognized him. But to tell you about the recordings, Bo Kasper's Orchester, Swedish pop band and jazz band that I really love, apparently made an album that I never heard of and suddenly popped up on my YouTube account. And it's called, listen to this, it's called Redo att gå sönder from 2015, which means being ready to fall apart. And I think this is exactly what is required from all of us right now. We have to be ready to break into pieces, to allow new things to happen. Because if you're lucky enough to not be ill at the moment, let's knock on wood, then we should embrace embrace the opportunity to think anew, but I think it all needs time. So redo at go sender, just be prepared to fall into pieces, be ready for it. And um, the second album I happened to listen to while I was doing the kitchen and laundry and kids, and yeah, this is my life at the moment, believe it or not, not much time for scores. Because I'm at the moment all alone with kids. Sometimes not. But that's too private. And um, this is a Karayan recording. I would really recommend you to um, get a sharp listen to. You can find it online. It's called Karayan Edition. Probably you've heard of it. I have not listened to the remastered edition yet. So this is a remastered edition from 1997. The recording itself is Karaya conducting Brahms' second symphony. Uh, year is unclear between 51 and 60 with the Vienna Philharmonic. And I tell you, this Brahms, the way he does this second symphony with the Vienna, it, it is just, I don't know, I, there were phrases, there were bits and pieces. I was just scrolling back and forth, back and forth for at least half an hour, just, just for a few bars, just analyzing. And I think what really moved me, what really, really made me sit down and think of what Karayan was doing in this recording was, uh, by the way, it's Amy Records, Karayan edition, um, is that he takes time. He 
allows himself to take time. He allows time and space to come in and let this miracle happen. This miracle of transition, this miracle of modulation, this miracle of music, this miracle of breathlessness. It's it's amazing. It's amazing how the movements are in proportion, how he how he manages to tell a story together with his fellow musicians from the very beginning. This really made my day. So if you don't manage to look at scores to play the piano as much, like at the moment I'm I'm at home being a mother uh uh mother at home i mean i'm normally also a mother but i'm i'm a working mother outside of home so um listen to music if you manage and check out the swedish pop band as well and pam grout's latest ebook and i would like to end this little talk with you virtual talk with a quote that she wrote. Um, basically, Pam Grout quoted Yogi Bhajan, but she wrote this as an entry for one of her chapters. And it's lovely. So Yogi Bhajan said something like, I don't believe in miracles. I rely on them. Stay safe. Subscribe.